The golfing world was saddened with the loss of World Golf Hall of Fame member Louise Suggs. Louise enjoyed a remarkable career and an incredible life. She was the first female inductee in the Hall of Fame and was one of the very first females to be elected into membership in the 260-year-old Royal and Ancient Golf Club in St. Andrews, Scotland. Those two singular events speak volumes about the impact that Louise had on the world of golf, especially women's golf. At age 16, just two weeks after she graduated top of her class in high school, Louise won the Georgia State Amateur Championship. And that started her great amateur career that lasted from 1940 to 1948. During that time, she won 15 events, including three women's major championships, despite three years being missed due to World War II. She was a competitor. In 1948, she went to Great Britain and she played in the British Ladies Amateur and won. She had won every major competition in amateur play. And so in 1949, when she came back to the United States, she signed on with McGregor and turned pro. In her rookie year, she won the Women's U.S. Open, beating Babe Zaharias by a massive 14 strokes. This was a massive win that was never beaten in the women's game and has only been topped one time as by Tiger Woods in the year 2000. In her professional career, Ruiz would go on to win 61 tournaments, including 11 major championships. In addition to her golfing prowess, in 1950, Louise, along with 12 other women, got together and formed the fledgling Ladies Professional Golf Association, the LPGA. So Louise has made a tremendous impact, an indelible mark on the history of golf. She'll be sadly missed, but her legacy and her life will be commemorated and celebrated here at the World Golf Hall of Fame. There'll never be another like her, but she is to be remembered.